you guys, how's it going? It's Height here, and we are back with a brand new first look to the channel. This game is called RoboPlant, and it came out yesterday in early access. And this game is a space colony game where you use robots to develop your civilization and expand your tech and expand your colony and do some farming, I think, because there's the word plant there. So yeah i don't know it sounds like it's gonna be a super fun time and we are going to check it out now we can't check other planets hot arid no oxygen i wonder if that's because wait i can't put a space in my name it's a hiding and let's go medium and we can't pick other planets. Maybe that's because the game's not fully out yet. So I wait, wait. Oh no, no, no. Okay, we're doing Melo. Let's go. Welcome to Roboplat Industries. We are happy to have you on board. Our mission is to save planet Earth from famine. Are you ready? This is not planet Earth. Earth has suffered years of war and famine, and people are struggling to start over. That's why Roboplant Industries, a private company with a noble goal, was born. To help Earth and its citizens. Over time, you will receive some messages asking you to carry out the specific purpose. Each time you can do so, the health and status of Earth's citizens will improve to the point where they will be self-sufficient again. Their demands will not be very profitable for you, but at least you will have done something good and worthwhile. You can always check Earth's status and progress by clicking on the big button in the bottom right corner. We'll give you all the tools to start your own company. You'll be able to hire workers, set up production, and grow some nice fruits and vegetables. You'll have plenty of opportunities to make extra money. You'll be able to sell directly to the market or complete some contracts that will make you very famous among distant galaxies. Oh boy. Now go ahead and build up your empire. I'll be around to give you some suggestions during this adventure. Good luck! So this is the Earth's health button. Your task is simple but not without danger. The people of Earth need your help. Over time you will receive requests from us. Make the right choice. Use your wits to help us. Okay. Hmm. Zero percent success. <laughs> okay. W, A, S, D to move. Q and E to rotate. The usual... Oh. N and N and M. Okay, or the scroll wheel. Okay. Let's start with your helpers. You need workers to help you manage the factory. Hire one from the workers panel. Workers have a skill level that affects the efficiency of their jobs. The salary is higher for robots with more experience. Why do robots need money anyway? That makes no sense. Okay, so I think we have to click here and then we can figure out which one we want. A biologist, a farmer, or a bill maybe a builder a senior builder he's cheap he's real cheap maybe we take the builder because i'm assuming we're gonna have to start building some stuff first thing choose a room layout that works for you and place it down the room will adapt based on the structures you place in it each room has only one purpose production relax or research build a corridor okay hey look our little buddies here okay build a corridor where do we build the corridor does it go inside not connecting to another construction? What? Oh, maybe we need the whole room. Do we need to place the whole room? Medium O room. How much money do we have? We got lots. Let's build a medium rectangular room. Not connecting to another construct. Oh, hang on. I bet we need to build a corridor off of this thing. There we go. Now things are starting to make sense. Let's build a room now. And I need to make sure I'm able to connect to here again. I think this will be fine. Okay, so now that little buddy there should start 
building. He's building. Okay. Next step is to grow some plants. They require specific oxygen, humidity, and temperature levels to do so. You need to stabilize the environment in the room. Failing to do so will cause production to stop. Build an oxygen stabilizer. Oxygen stabilizer. Put that in there. Build a temperature stabilizer. Humidity. Uh, we need one of those anyway. Let's stick one of those in here. And we'll stick one of those in here. Okay, build a cedar. Basic cedar. Vertical cedar. Uh... Plant capacity. This one costs more. Produces less. What? What's the point? <laughs> Why would you pay for this? Is it smaller? Oh, it's way smaller. Well, actually, it's not. Two by three versus two by four so it's not way smaller but it is smaller we could put more of them in but right now i don't think we really need more of them that's probably gonna be all we need prepare some seedlings where do we do that wick system packager i guess maybe we prepare seedlings in here create from scratch select required materials create from scratch strawberry seedlings hell yeah wait start production requires required materials have not been set ah what is this a hundred percent ninety percent I don't really know what all this stuff is. But let's just pick all the good ones for now. Rubble plant. Okay. Starter fertilizer. There we go. Now we can start production. Quickly fix what is wrong. Otherwise, you'll risk losing your current production. Why? What's wrong? Room comfort. Affects the worker's behavior in the room. What? Set to warm? Oh, 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 wait. What's the problem? Oh, oxygen is too low. We need more oxygen. Oxygen? Strawberries don't even need oxygen, do they? How does that work? Current oxygen levels are not in the valid range. How do I determine what the levels are in a room? Current oxygen levels are not in a valid range. Can I just stick this thing right beside here then? Or like, what's going on? Why is... Why is this not getting oxygen? Current humidity levels are not in the valid range. Are you kidding me right now? Room coverage, 70%. Oh, is that what's going on? I don't have... My room is too big? I think my room is too big. Room coverage, 100%. Let me guess. Oh, this actually, one heater is enough. It says 100%. The current humidity levels are not in a valid range. Arid... Reaching target. Oh. Dry. We're getting closer. Wait. Does this have to be dry or wet? Oxygen rich, humid, and warm. Set to warm. Oxygen rich. Humid. Okay, and this is our room up here. So these things should be growing now. Finally. Okay. So. Start from scratch. Maybe we do some cabbages, uh, lettuces, you know? Oh, no, we don't want to do lettuce. Cancel. I just saw that cold, humid, oxygen-rich, cold, dry, oxygen-rich. So we're going to need a ton of different rooms. Okay, we can just do strawberries again for now. 
I don't want to have two different plant types in here because they each take a different type of room, so... Okay, that thing is going to do its thing. That thing's gonna do its thing. Once you have a seedling, you can go to the next step. Put the seedlings in the planter and grow fruits and vegetables. After that, you can progress to the final stage. Package. Am I making seedlings right now? I'm not even sure if I am. Maybe I shouldn't have started with such a big room. Can I? What happens if I turn this one off? Okay, what happens if I turn this one off? Maybe it just took a while for them to build up. Still 100% room coverage? You have new contracts available. Where are those? This kind of looks like a contract. Available contract. Is there one that just takes straws? Nope. Nope. They want the lettuce and the spinach. Those buggers. Okay, well, if that's what they want, then I am going to have to make another, well, another room times two. I don't know. Maybe we'll just make some small rooms. I'm probably going to end up having to restart this game at some point <laughs> once I figure out what the heck I'm actually doing. Okay, so we'll put a room there. We can put a room there. And one can be for strawberries. No, one can be for lettuce. And one can be for cabbage. Can I move these things? Ugh. I would like to be able to move this somehow. Or, you know, destroy it. This little guy is so slow. Look at how slow he is. Oh, and now he needs power. Hmm. Where do he... Where do we power him up? Is it in here? I don't think so. I want to get more robots. But at the same time... I don't want to use up all my resources before I even get started. So I want to just start slow. There's a research tech tree here, which takes research points. Oh, a bep bop table. <laughs> okay. Workshop, laboratory. Oh, top secret. Oh, we can research new vegetables. Oh, interesting. Okay, I like that. Basic packager. We don't have anything to package yet. Oh, look, this thing's done. Or... Build a planter. Build a packager. Packager. Wait, planter. The simplest of the hydroponic system designs. It's passive system that uses a wick to feed water and nutrients to the plants. Okay. Accepted plant types. I can't tell if berries are in there. That looks like tomatoes to me. Oh, maybe that second one is berries. Okay, how does this work? We put this inside of the room. And what does this do? I don't really know. Build a packager as well. You know what? Let's just build all this stuff. Packager. This machine is needed to package fruit and vegetables. It is a simple system, so it's pretty slow. Okie dokie. Yesterday you had some losses. Be careful. Minus 55, 20 ru rubles. What, what, <laughs> what money is this? Rubles? This guy is still doing his thing. We can buy and sell power, it looks like. And water. Can we... How do we get more? I guess we have to buy it. That's not the best. Maybe at some point we'll be able to build like a well. And build solar panels. Power. 
Energy and water producers. We have none. Imagine that. Take care of your workers. Workers have three needs. Energy, health, and happiness. You need relaxed rooms to meet these needs. Otherwise, your robots won't be very efficient. Workers go to refill their needs over time, and if they don't find something to use, they stop working for a while. Remember, you need new empty room if you want to use it as a relaxed room. Okay, so perhaps we'll just use this as the relaxed room charger. We're probably going to want one of those. We're probably going to want a vending machine. And we're probably going to want an arcade console. There we go. Build a decoration. A locker. Let's put that in here. I don't know if the robots actually need this. A small plant. We'll put it in here as well. And what's the other thing we can do? A medium plant? Nah. Complete contracts to grow your reputation and earn money. You can decide if you want to focus on increasing your reputation with big companies or small ones. The first prefers more quantities, while the second more plant variety. You won't be able to accept the contracts right away. For the good ones, you need to have reached the required reputation level. Keep in mind that if you miss the deadline and fail a contract, there could be bad consequences. This is just like that toy building game that we played. It reminds me a lot of it. I can't remember the name of it right now. Except your first contract. See, the problem is... I don't have any of the stuff to accept these contracts, so I don't think I really want to do that right now. And I think the other problem is... I don't know if I want to grow the plants in the same room as my hydroponics. Or I don't want to grow my saplings in the same room as my hydroponics because these require certain moisture temperatures and stuff, and I don't know if this thing does. Oh, this guy is not having a good time. You're almost there, man. You just got to finish your room. You finish your break room, you can have a break. That's it. That's all I want. Okay, so I think we have to... Start changing this to be a new room type. Cold, dry, oxygen rich, and then that should allow us, cold, dry, oxygen rich should allow us to grow some spinach. Uh, yep, we can put that in there. We can put this in here and we can put this in here. And now we can make some spinach, start production. Cold can't maintain temperature. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm building another one of these. Maybe I should stop that for a second. Let my robot finish doing his break over there so that he can actually get back to work. And then he's going to have to come over here and build this thing. I want him to destroy this one. I don't think we need... Yeah, 60%. You need two when it says 60%. All right. Are you almost done here, guy? What? What is your problem? We need some spinach, because as soon as we get spinach, we'll be able to grow the spinach. And then once we can grow the spinach, we can start a contract. You know what? I'm going to buy another robot. I probably shouldn't do this, but we're going to do it anyway. Wait, what's the, what's this? The weather made again some terrible damage on Earth. Some non-profit organizations are trying to help out the local population with some resources. Are you willing to help them out by spending some resources yourself? Uh, no. They accept the fact that you could not help them, but they hope you will next time. Okay. <laughs> so, we can't afford that right now. What's going on here? I want to hire some more robots, and I think we need a farmer. Junior farmer? Yeah. We'll take him. We'll take the junior farmer. Any farmer is better than no farmer. This guy... I mean, he's a builder, he's doing his thing, but boy, oh boy, he is slow. Space puppers? <laughs> oh my god. What are they doing? Oh, they're colonizing planets. Well, I hope he won. Okay, where's my... There he is, my farmer robot. So, I guess the builders have earmuffs. 
The farmers have sun hats. And... So what happens now? I don't have any planting things going on. Is this guy just gonna... Okay, so they'll just do whatever. They don't really care. I hope they prioritize stuff that they're good at, but if there's nothing for them to actually do, it seems like they'll just kind of do whatever. So that's great. Now that that's done... Can't maintain temperature reaching the target. Okay, so that should fix this. We can start growing some spinach. And then... Can I actually start growing? Create from scratch. Tomatoes. Select. Oh, see, these require the same room environment. I mean, that makes sense. Warm, humid, oxygen rich. Cold, dry, oxygen rich. Do we have any spinach right now? No. We, we don't. <laughs> Oh, man. So we have to keep changing the room back and forth and back and forth. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Maybe we can get this other one going on spinach as well. And at least this way, we're maximizing our output potentials. We'll get both of those going on spinach. Start production. Start production. Nope, that's good. Okay, that guy should do his thing. We really got to start getting some actual produce going. Does this require a certain temperature as well? No, this thing can be anywhere. That's good to know. Very good to know. Okay. Okay, we can finally start doing some actual growing here. Start production. That should be good. Now, I don't have the resources for this, so we can stop that one. I wish there was a way to... I don't know what happens when you dismantle. I was going to say, I wish there was a way to move things, but you might be able to just dismantle it and rebuild it. I don't know if you actually get the stuff back or not. But I really wish we could just move things. Anyway, once we actually grow some spinach, we'll finally be able to accept a contract and get some of that going because we've done nothing but lose money since we started this game. I haven't actually completed a single mission yet. Oh no. I hope it's not too late. So I think we bit off a little bit more than we could chew with this big room. We know for next time to stay with the small room. I'll see if I can save it, but we might have to start over with our new knowledge. <laughs> Okay, are we able to finally start packaging some stuff? I'm not sure if we've actually grown anything. Okay, we have not grown anything yet. I don't even want to answer this because I'm just going to have to tell them no. Missing resources. That's okay. We won't be missing them for long. It looks like this guy's harvesting our plants right now. Yes, look at him go. Did he... Did he do it? Oh! Hang on a minute. Do they take the plants, store them, and then have to bring them all the way back? I think they do. That's not the best. Oh well. So I guess it makes more sense to keep our buildings closer to the storage area. You didn't accept all the new quests. Wait, what did that say? I just lost $2,000. Oh, guys, this is not looking good. <laughs> We're gonna be bankrupt soon. Oh, no. You didn't accept all the new quests. <laughs> it's okay. It's not over yet. We can save it. You just have to believe. We, we can almost accept our first contract. Which isn't really gonna help that much because if we accept our first contract... We won't even get the money back that we just lost for not accepting the last contract. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this very well might be our last day on this planet. We're not very good colonists. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Okay. Anyway, it's fine. We're growing some spinach. Kind of. Maybe. Yeah, we're growing some spinach. It's growing. I guess we can speed things up here just to see what's going to happen. 
I can't imagine we're gonna survive very much longer. What is this button? Ship overview off world. No orders present. What's this button? Okay, plans. What else do we have? A question mark that does nothing. Okay. And obviously an options button. How's my vegetables? Come on. Harvesting. Yes. This is it. We can start packaging. We'll be able to accept our first contract. Maybe we should actually accept one right now. Spinach. Oh my god. I guess we have to, right? There were... Uh, I can't give away resources. Please don't take my money. Okay, they didn't take my money this time. Open. 32 for $1,600. Or 31 for $1,300. Uh, I think I want the $1,600. And we have to get 32 of these. Well, we're gonna try... Lacking resources. I don't... Build a research table? Guy... Guy! We we can't right now. We just can't. Okay? Chill. Open. How do I do this? Is... Is that person hauling my spinach? Ready to complete. Open. Complete. Okay. Well... That's going. Build a research table. Ah, oh, this is just the worst. Bad day. I completed a mission and still lost $900. Are you kidding? <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Oh, no. Can I buy more seeds? Yes, we can. I want like 30 more of these. We're just going to grow all the spinach. Oh, I see. You can buy... You can buy cheaper spinach, but you get less yield for it. See, this one's $7 a seed, and this one's $5 a seed, and you only lose 10%. So that's actually pretty worth it, because you're gaining, well, not 30%, but like, I don't know, 20-some percent less cost for 10% less profit or produce. It seems pretty good to me. Anyway, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to stick with spinach. We're just going to keep selling spinach. Look at these guys want... Ooh, 64 for 36 hundo. One of your oxygen stabilizers broke down. That's not good. Oh, yesterday was a good day. You made $490. Look at that. We actually turned a profit for our first time on day number 10. What a beautiful, beautiful sight to behold. Okay. That is perfect. We're actually starting to figure out how this game works. Now, can I just... I just want this to go away. But I don't want it to permanently go away. I'm scared to hit close because it might not open again. But I do want it to just kind of go away for now. Because I don't want to build that thing. <laughs> we have to get some money. And we got to get some systems going before I can do that. I really shouldn't have started with strawberries because... You can't sell just strawberries. They have to be bundled with something else. So, anyway, like I was saying, we'll know for next time. I also shouldn't have started with this big room like this because it takes two of each of the machines where I'm assuming this one only takes one. Local shop on Earth is trying to find someone to deliver some resources. They need them as soon as possible. Would you be up for the challenge? No. 11 happiness for minus two workers. Oh, oh, that's not okay. My my robots are sad. I didn't even know robots could feel sad. But you know what? Ultimately, I don't care if they're sad because they're going to be even more sad if they don't have a job anymore. And they ha just turn into rust on this planet. They'll be really sad then. Well, we're down to our last $164. I don't know how far we can go into the hole before we get, uh, before we get shut down. <laughs> before they foreclose our, our establishment here. But I'm, I'm super close, I think, to being able to sell some more spinach. Yeah, we're close. We're so close, actually. How much do I even have? Does it tell me my inventory somewhere? Uh, I'm not 
seeing it. Hmm. Is this it? Oh, my storage. We have 68 already. Oh. Where did that $4,000 spinach go? Oh, it's gone. Oh, no. Well, we waited too long. Well, we can accept this one just to get some money. Space Mining Company. Feels bad. Because we could have just made twice as much money, but... Whatever, we need some money. We have to get something going. Oh! And we can do strawberries! We can finally do something with our strawberries, except I don't have... I don't have any strawberries grown. Yeah, that's not the best. I didn't grow any strawberries. I just made the seedlings, and that's it. How did I get to my inventory? Was it this one? Yes, okay, here we go. So we should have strawberry seedlings. We've got a ton of them. But we have no strawberries. Okay, well, maybe we can start growing some strawberries. Let's finish off the spinach. I really need another room with another temperature system going on, but... I just, I can't, I can't do that right now. <laughs> I spread myself too thin. Come on, I just need a spinach contract. Just a spinach one, that's all I want. How are we looking here? Oh, we're all out of stuff. Okay, you know what? If we're all out of stuff anyway, how is this one looking? Oh, we still have lots of seeds. Stop! We need to stop this one. And... Yeah, we still have tons of seeds. I really should set up a second area over here. To start growing some other vegetables. Uh, it just is... It just feels so bad having to expand. I don't have the resources to do this right now. But I think we need to... I'm hoping one of each of these machines will be enough. And then really what I need to do is move these into there. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping they we get our resources back for that. Not enough money. Oh no. We destroy it and we don't get anything back. Well, I might have just... Oh, wait, maybe we did. Maybe we did just get something back. Okay. Okay. We got some spinach contracts. We can open. Accept. Open. Complete. Okay. What else? There was another one. I think we can do this one too. Open. Yes, we can do this one too. Is there any other spinach ones? Well, there's this one, but I don't have 85 spinach. No, we can't do that one just yet. Okay, so we want to start growing some strawberries. Uh, no. Well, you know what? We should maybe grow some lettuce. We haven't grown any lettuce yet. Select. 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 And, well, we're going to have to buy some... We're gonna have to buy some more of that stuff. How do we buy more produce? Buy. Fertilizer. Growth medium. Growth fertilizer. Is it this one? Nope. It's... It's this one. Well, we might have made a mistake. I can't buy more boxes. I can't buy more boxes because I don't have money. And if I can't buy boxes, then I can't accept any more contracts because I can't sell any more stuff. And I think we just lost. <laughs> oh no. I, I need money to make money. Isn't that just the way of the world? You need money to make money. Oh, it feels bad. Yeah, well, let's just see what happens when we finally run out of money.
I can grow more stuff, but I can't actually box anything because I have I don't have enough boxes. I've only got 20 left. Oh, that's just the worst. Okay, so lessons that I learned. Start with a small room because one of these machines is all we need. One of each of them, which is great. And then also what I learned is I think we want to start with three of these rooms. One for recreation, one for growing these seeds, and one for actually planting the plants. So seedlings, plants, as well as packaging can just be in whatever room because this doesn't have any requirements. So that seems fine. So we need three rooms. This needs its own room. It's required. And if these things are in the same room, then they have to be growing the same thing. But if I set them in their own separate rooms, I could have this one growing one type of vegetable and this one growing something else. And then I can keep swapping. And I think that is kind of where we screwed up. Is I was trying to put all my eggs in one big basket here and then I dropped the basket. <laughs> This is so... Anyway, we're gonna have to fix that. Oh, we are at negative $974. I'm assuming this is gonna be our last day. Right? They're not gonna... They're not gonna let us keep this up. I need a contract that will accept just, you know... What do I even have? I need a contract that will accept... 53 spinach for $10,000. That would be the best. You have no money left. You need to do something. Like what? Take out a loan? What am I supposed to do? Huh? How low will it let me go before it says I'm not allowed to play anymore? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can actually just sell these? 160 cabbage. What? I can just sell spinach? I can literally just sell spinach. Straight up. Can I sell these seedlings too? Oh my god. I can just sell whatever I want. Well, that sure makes this easier. There we go. Look at all the money we have. Oh, we have all of the money we could ever want. Okay, now we can finally buy some more boxes. So that we can actually accept some more contracts. Let's buy a hundred of those. Oh. Well, that makes the game a lot easier if you're able to just sell whatever you want to. Holy crap! $5,000 for 92 spinach? Oh man, do I have 92 spinach? Not... Not quite. But we could grow some more. I just need to buy a few more spinach plants. Whoa, do I want... Yeah, let's buy 100. Why not? I got all the money in the world now. <laughs> An ambassador from Earth is going around asking all companies to help build a new help center on Earth. Would you be willing to join in and share the cost? Minus $65,000. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not happening. Minus one reputation. Come on, man. Minus $65,000. Even if I wanted to. <laughs> that's just... That's just dumb. Okay. We gotta accept that contract before it disappears on us again. I want that $5,600. Okay. And let's make sure we have enough boxes for all that stuff. And then I think we should be good on spinach here right away. I'm gonna need some more fertilizer. And how are we looking? We don't have enough seedlings? Uh oh. All right, well, let's sell this thing, get that out of our way, and that's gonna bring us in $5,600, which is the most money I think we've gotten on anything so far. 
But I think we are going to wrap up this episode right there. Look at all that money that I just rolled in. Okay, so now that we're starting to understand this game, I think I am going to start over on a new save. Just because I kind of screwed this one up. Right from, right from the start, I screwed it up. And I don't want to be struggling to fix it for the whole rest of eternity. I just want to fix it now. So anyway, guys... Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of my plans for the new base. Like I said, I think it's going to be three of the little rooms. And at least that way, I think we'll be off to a better start. I think it's going to make things a lot simpler for us. At least I can hope. The only problem is these rooms only connect in a straight line. So... I... Oh, that might be a bit of a problem. Well, you know what? We've got three rooms. We could go bam, bam, bam right off of here. Bam, bam, bam. That'll work. Yep, I think that'll work. Oh, just fine. Anyway, guys, like I was saying, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of that. If you're liking this game so far and you want to see some more of it, then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I'll see you next time.